Good morning guys, I hope you're all well. Welcome to my vlog. For those of you who are new, my name is Giselle, welcome. And welcome back to my subscribers. Today I am off to St. George's College in Barataria, which is in Trinidad. I was invited to speak to the students about my new book. Well, it's newly published, my novel Through It All, and I'm so excited. I'm a bit behind schedule, which is why I sound a bit out of breath. I'm now leaving home. So I'm hoping to get there on time. Wish me luck. All right guys, I made it and it's exactly nine o'clock. Let's hope all goes well. Alright guys, I'm here and if you could hear from the noise, it's very, very loud. Lots of children. So they're still setting up. Apparently some of the students aren't upstairs as yet. We had to move from the hall to the library. And they're quite noisy. Apparently they're in second form, which is grade 8. At first I was a bit nervous, but right now I'm looking forward to it. It's an opportunity for those in charge of a school library, like myself, right? Being in charge of St. George's College Library, to choose a day, a week, or the entire month in October to celebrate the importance, how important it is that a, a library is in a school, how important it is for you all to help with your research purposes, conference, and the team was education, information, and the attack of school libraries. Right, so this year... The novel was used by the University of the West Indies for the mean analysis in the Caribbean Civilization course for the academic year 2017-2018. Giselle is also the owner and editor of the new online magazine, Patrice Magazine, which features articles on female empowerment and highlights issues surrounding Caribbean identity. Additionally, Giselle is the author of the non-fiction guidebook How to Survive Law School Year One, and she's currently developing this series and working on her next novel. So without ado, I introduce to you, Miss Giselle. So as your librarian assistant told you, I'm Giselle, I'm from St. Kitts, but born here in Trinidad. Do you know where St. Kitts is? So today, I'm here to read a little passage from my book. And as you heard, I wrote this book when I was in school in St. Kitts. I was in fifth form. I was 16 years old. And St. Kitts is very small. It's smaller than Tobago. Imagine that. Smaller than Tobago. You have no malls. So no real sense of entertainment, for me anyway. So to entertain myself, I loved to read and I loved to write. I went to a small school for high school. It was my mother's school. So the most amount of students in one class was about 10. The whole school was like 50 students. So it was a home school kind of setting where you get one-on-one -on -one attention. It's my purpose to try and encourage young people as well to love to read and to write. I heard from your librarian that all of you love to read. Oh, that's true. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. All right. I'm glad that a good bit of you love to read. Now, the follow-up question: Anybody loves to write? Like write stories? Yes. Oh, People like to write. For those of you who love to read. Let's see your reason for reading is the same like mine. For me, reading just opens up my mind. I can imagine the story in all kind of different ways. And to me, reading helps me escape. Like if I'm having a bad day, or if I just, you know, I'm just feeling down. When I pick up my favorite storybook or a new novel, it just it makes me feel happy because I can like delve into the characters. You know, I can see myself as one of the characters or maybe somebody just watching the story. And it just helps me to forget about my issues just for the moment. 
and I see somebody nodding. Yes, same for you. Teacher. Yeah. Fan. I decided I'm going to write a novel. And the reason why I actually started was because, well, I have two siblings, well, half. My older brother died last year, but I have a younger oh. sister still. And they were annoying me one day after school, right? You know, siblings are disgusting. So. <laughs> <laughs> I told everybody in my house that, look, I'm going to write a story all about the things you did to me. And I was threatening them, so I'm going to record everything you do to me in this story. Mm -hmm. But when I started, all of that just changed. I didn't end up writing down everything that they did. It became a whole new story. All the ideas just keep, kept flowing, and the story just came alive and became something of its own. So although it began with me wanting to punish my siblings, it actually turned into something completely different. Right? And the story is about love, it's about family, friendship, um, and Reed finds love for the first time. You know when you have a crush, and it's your first crush, are you happy? And of course, you know, every story must have drama, right? Yeah. So it's filled with drama. If I had to summarize this in one word, it's drama. Drama, drama, drama. All kind of stuff happening. Oh, this is the book? Um, and by the way, I, I published it myself because it took me 10 years to finally get this out. I thought it would have been so easy to get it published, but huh, I was so naive back then thinking, oh, I'll just get it like that. But agents and publishers said no some just ignored me didn't respond to my emails and i really wanted to quit at one point but i persevered i tried to finish school which i did i went to university went to law school so i put school first and then finally last year my uncle read it and he liked it he was teaching at uni and he recommended the book for you students to use and they accepted it for the Caribbean Civilization course. What I learned from this whole process is basically tolerance and patience, patience number one. So even though you have a dream, something that you, know, you really want to do and you find all kind of difficulties coming in your way trying to stop you from doing it, if you know it's for you, do not give up. That's, that is definitely what I took away from this lesson, do not give up. My dream was to become an author and I did it. Nobody published me, I did it myself. Right? So if you want to fight for something, you fight for it until you get it. Even though it may take like me 10 years, it might take much shorter for you guys, but you can't control the time, how long it takes. But you can control if you want to achieve your dream.